Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wimberly Fam channel. It is going to be a busy week. It's supposed to start snowing here in Arkansas and so um, we're going to check the weather, see what's going on. The sky looks and pretty crazy. Do you want to see Nana and Pap Pap? Okay, I'll tell them. The sky looks pretty crazy this morning. Um, it's just been getting really, really cold, and we never know if it's actually going to snow or not, so we're going to prepare for snow just in case, but you never know in Arkansas. And then we are going to get ready for school, pack lunches, and head out the door. I let Brody pick what he wants in his lunchbox every week, um, and he's pretty much a creature of habit and wants a turkey sandwich every day of his life. Um, so that is pretty simple, and then we pack extra snacks because he does go to after school care after normal school hours, so he's all filled up with lots of goodies and he won't be hungry until after basketball. duty so um, usually we wake up we get dressed make lunches make breakfast and we're out the door drop off Brody then me and Bella and we're on our way Brody's not feeling it but he's gonna go to school and be a champ anyway right he's tired hard to get back on your schedule. You love school though, don't you? It's just hard to get used to it again. You're going to have a great day. I love you so much. I love you too. Bye -bye. You can go. Bye. Bye, baby. Here's Hudson. Here's Hudson. Run inside with Hudson. Happy Monday. Okay, bye. I am a director of a preschool. And so... Bella comes to work with me and goes to class while I work. And then uh, every evening we go to practice for Brody's sports. And, and Monday through Friday is a marathon and it's the same thing every single day, over and over and over again. Um, so I thought I would just bring you along with me, show you everything, show you what I cook. Um, when I'm in a big hurry, don't be mad because it's not always like the healthiest. <laughs> Sometimes it's just easy. Oh, I love my coworkers and I love my little school. And we have a very happy environment to work in. It's nice. It's nice to be with people you like. I just saw the cutest craft. And then I, I was just not paying attention, so I zoomed past it and now she can't go back to find it. I can't find it. It was an ad, that's why. I was quietly protective of my heart to reassure that I couldn't break to pieces and be left alone once more. If you hadn't been so patient, you'd be easy to ignore. You put up with all my till you did. Tonight we had basketball practice and they brought these noodles out and the boys thought that was the funniest thing. They had so much fun trying to get around the noodles. For tonight's dinner, we made orange chicken, um, and I can put that recipe below. We added some water chestnuts, broccoli, and then we put it over white rice. And this is always a hit at our house. We love our Asian food. Eat it too much, but we love it. I found these cute little ornaments at Dollar General. So cute. I'm just going to add them to my Christmas garland so I can leave it up a little bit longer. Um, tonight I am unloading the dishwasher and reloading it. I do this a few times a week. I don't overwhelm myself um, and a lot of nights we do really quick easy dinners so um, on an easy night I will also do the dishes just to kind of keep up but I don't overwhelm myself with dishes every single night. I'm not even going to lie to you. 
my sink stays full <laughs> because I think it's more important to spend time with my kids and relax and recharge for the next day. Our Saturday mornings are always spent at Brody's sporting events, whatever sport he's playing right now with basketball. Soon it will be back to football. But every Saturday morning, we cheer on the mini minors and we love it. We wouldn't have it any other way. Intense game of tic tac toe going on. Great. Would you guys like some more salad? What are you having for lunch today? <laughs> uh oh, we dropped one. Oh, don't, don't. Let's not. Okay, we did it. What did you order? What did you order for lunch? No, what? Tell them what you ordered. Tomato. Pizza. In what side? Ranch. Pizza and ranch and grapes. And grapes. Amazing. Do something amazing. Yeah, do something fancy. Yeah. So after we had lunch, Brody's little friend called and said he wanted to play a game of two-on-two -two dads and sons against each other and we could not turn that down because these boys are competitive and they love to be together. So we met them back up at the school and let them play ball for a little bit longer before we went home and started our Saturday cleaning. It's now Saturday evening and um, we have been kind of taking Christmas down, but Bella got a hold of one of the Christmas balls she made in class one day and she had filled it with paint and they like rolled it around. Well, the paint never dried inside the ball and Brody accidentally stepped on the ball. So now we are scrubbing our carpet <laughs> on Saturday night. Um, that's real adulting right there but we're trying to get purple spots out. So if you have any advice, please leave it down below because we did not get the spots out.
Okay, tell me your Bible verse. Good job. It's turning white out here. Bella, come on, it's cold, baby. Barry's gonna make some ribs. And Bella's coming. And these are the seasonings he's gonna use. He did it once before with the cherry cola, and they were so yummy. All right, he started by ripping off this little piece of skin, which he calls a membrane, and then he pats it dry with paper towel and covers this thing in mustard. Oh, he, and he's trimming off like little extra pieces of fat that are hanging off the edge. And then he's going to cover the thing in mustard. <laughs> he doesn't want to do his own voiceover, so now I have to do it. <laughs> so you're getting Lindy's version of what Barry's doing. And let's see, what is he going to do next? Oh, we're doing the bottom with some mustard too. The whole thing. And, and he called this a what? A binder? This is his binder. Gotta go wash those hands. Now he's back. He's going in first with the pepper. Now, oh no, that's still the pepper. Salt on the wet hands. Don't know how that worked out. Was that clumpy? <laughs> um, okay, some Danos. Then he's got um, the wood fire garlic, killer honey bee seasoning, and what was the main seasoning you used? Honey. What was it? I think it was killer honey bee. Um, more pepper. Looks like on the other side. Okay, so he did the whole thing again to the top. A little bit more nanos, a little bit more garlic, more honeybee, and all of these came from Walmart except for the danos. Gotta get the edges. He takes his time, he pats it in, give it a little massage. <laughs> this ribs gets treated better than I do. <laughs> and now he's going back to the sink for some more hand washing. He used an entire roll of paper towels I actually did. during I actually the rib did. process. <laughs> so after that, he let it sit in the fridge overnight, and the next day he baked it for three hours. This is what it looked like after it baked for three hours. Now he is making the um, sticky exterior. <laughs> what do you call that part? <laughs> I don't know what you would call this. Honey and brown sugar, butter, and then he's going to wrap it all up, stick it back in the oven. Correct? For another hour. And then after he does that, he puts them on the grill for a little bit. How long did you put them on the grill? Long. However long you want to put it on the grill. But um, this is just kind of locking in your moisture and making them saucy.
Okay, well, it ended up snowing really hard, and the temperature has just been so low that our friends were not able to make it. <laughs> and now... <laughs> It's just our life. Yeah, we, we had planned on having a bunch of people over. Um, and we had one friend and her baby came. So, um, no one else came because it actually got terrible and they would not have been able to get home. So, um, we have been eating ribs for a few days. But that's okay because they looked amazing and they tasted amazing. Um, we made homemade mac and cheese, um, baked beans, chips. And then we went outside to play. <laughs> Looks like steak in Colorado. You may want to go to the middle of the road. Yeah. Ah, it's really frozen. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha.